what's good pizza holics i'm over here in the lower east side actually i'm over here in the east village at a place called sauce one of two locations i believe they have a restaurant close by that's their slice shop and i got a couple of slices guys i got some squares i got some thin crust slices let's go eat Alright, here we go. They give you a side of sauce. The place is called sauce, you get a side of sauce. So if the pizza's under sauced, just pour some more sauce on it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look under sauced, it looks pretty good. The cheese to sauce ratio looks tight. Paper thin, loving that undercarriage electric oven. This is the thinnest pizza I've ever seen, aside from Joe and Pat's. Guys, this is delicious. This is a damn good slice of pizza. I'm gonna give it a little dip. It's okay to dip pizza in sauce in New York City, as long as it's not ranch. little dogs are pretty feisty it's interesting because the dipping tomato sauce is different than the sauce on the pizza that's kind of like a raw tomato passata the dipping sauce reminds me of a passata I'm enjoying this I don't like that the sauce tastes different. Now it's pretty interesting because the, the pizza looked way different on Yelp. It wasn't as thin, wasn't as, wasn't, it just didn't look as thin as this. It's still solid, man. This, oh. Really impressed, really impressed. Let's try the square before it cools down. All right, so they give you two sides of sauce for each, each square. Guys, I love the composition of the square. Check that out. It's an upside down. There's a lot of cheese on this pizza, but they put like splotches uh, here and there. They'll splotch a gob of cheese on it. At first glance, it may look like, hey, where's the cheese? Oh, there's a lot of cheese on here. Believe me, it's an upside down. But they, they, they'll they splotch a, a gob of cheese on the pie here and there. And I really am impressed by the composition of this pizza. It's, it's, a, it's aesthetically, it's really, Really beautiful and very herbaceous, smelling that oregano. You saw him pour a ton of oregano on there. A lot of grated cheese. I'm not even gonna use the dipping sauce. It just doesn't... I'm a sauce guy, I mean, it just tastes different than the sauce on the pizza, so it kind of dilutes the flavor or interferes with the, the original recipe, of the, the original sauce recipe. Guys, this one's a little spongy. You see those densely packed air pockets? I mean, it's fluffy, it's got a nice crisp on the bottom, but it's a little spongy, a little dense. Mmm. Oh, that was the best bite. Mm. Frico crust, baby. Oh, 
All right, guys, what do you say we move on into the lab and get a closer look at their thin crust standard cheese pizza? That's right, guys. This is their standard cheese pizza. It's not a margarita or anything like that or grandma. It's their standard. Grated cheese all over the place. Up my alley, guys. Chunky tomato sauce, indeed. That's right, folks. Look at that beautiful sauce, pulpy, chunky. It started out savory on the first bite, and then on the back of the throat, it, it kind of sweetened up as you chewed the sauce. A little pasty, uh, you know, not the brightest sauce in the world, but, but very much uh, pulpy, chunky, and uh, uh, my style, even though the color isn't as bright as I would have preferred, it wasn't a sauce that I'd consider too sweet for me. Um, uh, even though it wasn't the most savory, uh, it, it did have some good concentrated tomato tang. Look at the color of that cheese. One would think it's a fresh mozzarella. It's not. It's such a beautiful color. Look at the beautiful color of that cheese. Very bright white. Good distribution. Good cheese coverage. Good cheese to sauce ratio. Sauce spread to the edge. Chunky. Loving it, man. Good flavor on this thing. The basil had some kick. Looks like they cook it uh, before baking it. I mean, it looks like they put the basil on the pizza before baking it. Uh, but, you know, I don't really factor basil into the final score. I'll talk about it. Did have a little nice pungent flavor to it. Uh, didn't kick me in the ass, but um, guys, that cheese again. Such a rich, clean dairy flavor in that cheese. It's not fresh mozzarella, folks. There's some good balance of dairy, milky content in that cheese and fat. Good, good balanced cheese. This is quickly becoming my favorite cheese, and it reminded me of the cheese on the uh, John's Obliquer pie. It reminded me of the cheese on the John's Oblica pie. Really good quality, low moisture mozzarella. As good as you're gonna find on a pizza. And folks, we can't score this thing until we talk about the crust, guys, because let's face it, the foundation of every pizza is the foundation, the crust. Look at that char, guys. Electric oven. That, that char had a substantial amount of bitterness, which goes well with that beautiful sweet sauce. Look at that char. Fantastic. Five out of five on the char factor. Electric oven. And look how airy this thing is. Are you kidding? Where do you get a thin crust as airy as this? This is on some Joe and Pat's level, folks. I'm dead ass when I say that. Maybe the sauce is not the same as Joe and Pat's. I like the sauce of Joe and Pat's better. But this is some damn good thin crust pizza. That's as fine as it's gonna get, folks. Very airy, no chew, very light, good balance between chew and crunch. A lot of crunchy pizza tends to be chewy. Not the case here, folks. We got ourselves a winner. Now, on to the square. All right, guys, next on the list, we have their upside down. Look at all those blisters and goosebumps. Look at that on the bottom, a nice dimple there in the middle, beautiful char, cooked perfectly. The Frico crust was full of flavor when you bit into it. Never did it taste burned. You got a good, rich, uh, cheesy bite. When you, when, you, when you caramelize cheese like that, it, it brings out the fats and the flavor. Uh, it wasn't as tender as, let's say, a Da Vinci slice. But it did end with a nice crunch on the bottom. I would have preferred a less, a lighter chew to this thing. It was a little spongy, guys, a little spongy. I would have preferred it to be a little lighter, a little softer, a little more pillowy there in the center. Uh, not too bad, again, it's just, I think the thickness to the sauce to cheese ratio is off. I think this Sicilian is way too thick and not as airy or not as light cheese was again excellent it looks like the same cheese on the other slice sauce again same sauce as the other one tasted the same to me at least uh you know a little a little little sweet on the sweet side initially but then it gives way to a more savory tomato taste um Good combination of flavors, the grated cheese, a good cheese blend, lots of herbs, my style. I enjoyed the heck out of this too. Would I order it again? Would I Would I choose this upside down pizza over the others, over the other classics around the city? Maybe not. All right, guys, it's about that time when the pizza gets cold. We give it another fold and test the crust for its crunch. Long after cooling down, does the pizza remain crunchy? After it cools down. Listen guys, listen. 
Oh, this crust is awesome, bro. <laughs> I've never seen a crust like this outside of Joe and Pat's in Staten Island. It's almost as thin and, 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 and if anything's airier, it's... I, I, I freaking love it, guys. The sauce, I think, is the... Is my least favorite part of this pizza. It wasn't bad, it was a little sweet, but not overwhelming. If it was a little more my style and fresher, and you know, I love the tomato seeds. I, I like nice, fresh, bright tomato. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's just not my style. So, uh, you know, maybe it's a simmered sauce. It's a little sweeter. I don't know. Nothing wrong with that. Just not my style, guys. So I'm not, I was thinking nine. <laughs> I was thinking nine, but... Uh, I'm gonna go 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm gonna go 8-8 eight, eight for the crust, uh, of the, for the sauce thin crust, guys. This thing is solid, solid. I would so order this again and again and again and again. And uh, nice touch. I don't, I don't mind, I'm not complaining that they give you this, but I don't think I'd ever use that sauce, that dipping sauce again. 8-8, eight, eight, guys, for the thin crust. Right, guys, for the upside down Sicilian, I'm not going as high for this one, guys. I'm going to score this pretty damn good, even though not as high in the end, guys. The crust, the foundation of every pizza is its foundation, and uh, it's the most vital component when I score a pizza, the crust. So, 7.8, 7.8 for the upside down Sicilian over its sauce. Still solid. Would I order it again? Hey, if they put this thing in front of my face, I'll, I'll scoff three of them down, no problem. But if you if you give me a choice, if I had to choose this between L and B or the or the upside down over at like. Uh, New York Pizzeria Suprema, New York Pizza Suprema, I choose those over this. Well guys, that about does it for me, that about does it for this one. By the way guys, when you go to Sauce, you gotta hit up John's at 12th Street. John's at 12th Street, that Italian restaurant's been there for ages. Just look at that place. A lot of famous movies were filmed there. The Sopranos, I think. Yeah, the Kurt stuff from the Sopranos. The, oh, the Sopranos, right? Yeah. When they beat that guy up? Yeah. <laughs> when he talks to Meadow. Right, when he talks to Meadow, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Guys, if you can, hit that like, smash that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. Hit the join button if you want to become a member and have access to exclusive yeah, content. Guys. Until next time, keep those bellies full, folks. This is Antonio. Sign it off.